guys, welcome back to another whatever you want to call it. This is what we call React to the BBC. It's a new series, hopefully you enjoy it. And I'm just saying, this series is all about just reacting to, I don't know, the BBC. And I mean like, I don't know. But I'm just saying, this is like an introduction sort of thing. And I mean like, loads of BBC shows are good, bad, probably ugly. But I mean like, it's obviously up to you if you want to watch this series. But what I'm gonna, I'm gonna analyse it, sometimes I'm gonna take the mick out of it. But I'm not the other Craig who we just react to and the rubbish sometimes. I'm the one who reviews stuff as well, so put that in mind. Anyway, this is time to react to the BBC. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And we're gonna do a new series, I know like lots of good series and bad series on this channel. Had a sort of situation where you think, what is the series really going to be about, even though we know what the series is all about. So, what I'm going to react today is a BBC programme. And also sometimes they have a Craig who actually does really well reacting to stuff, believe it or not. He's not here today, but he's going to probably react to, the, to episode 2 of reacting to BBC programmes. Some anyway, not all of them, because copyright claims. How did you get there? I don't know, some kind of power universe or something like that. Oh, why is there some kind of power universe? Like, I don't know, but you, you, could you just go carry on doing the video, please, Craig? Fine, I'll do my video. Actually, actually no, never mind. But anyway, um, I, I always kept this sort of thing. I don't know what this really means, but i probably do this somewhere later about this series. What are we going to put on it? Craig do reacts or something? I don't know. I don't know, but I know my head is all messy and stuff. But anyway, this is, I'm just saying, put this out here, guys. And now I keep on talking about this, but oh my god, I'm the reviewing sort of gameplay, laddie. I'm not the reacting person, laddie. Alright, I'm not a laddie who reacts to stuff, or I'm not one of those people who, you know, comments on some weird videos. That's the other Craig who's got the funny hat and the funny glasses and probably some weird t-shirt, but man, I know. But listen, I'm the real Craig, believe it or not, you can tell. Glasses, hair, t-shirt, different than the other ones. Craig. Um, so yeah, what we're going to react to today, if it's possible, because sometimes YouTube makes things up, not makes things up, but sometimes it, you know, it's, it's complicated. No matter they're doing making things up, but they, they used to decide if it's copyright or not copyright, and they change it around to non-copyright to copyright, and then sometimes you'll be like, ah, but I don't know. So what I'm going to react to today is BBC's Angels. Let's take a look. Oh, hello, look. <laughs> oh, I, I wonder if you mind putting a bit of cream, you know, on my elbows and my heels. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, don't sir me, I know. I didn't say sir, and you're not nout. Oh, Perhaps a daisy. Nick, uh, Lindsay. Oh, whoa. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you hardly need me, do you? <laughs> oh, and I wonder if you mind moving that back. You see, I sweat a lot at night, and I can't get the covers back. Yeah. Right, elbows. Oh, Ooh, they are sore. They are sore, aren't they? What the hell was that? Could you say, like, oh, they are sore. Oh, what a shame. Like, not in a sarcastic or sort of moany way, but I can't really say it properly because I'm not a really good reactor. But seriously, what's up with these people? Are you telling me that you can't say stuff like, oh, have you got any symptoms or anything? What happened? What really happened? No. Oh, I'm just gonna wrap it like this. Oh, yay. And you know what? I know it's a TV show, and TV shows sometimes are in a rush and have to go on to the next thing, the next thing, but 
some TV shows that we watch, even though it takes in a wash, we don't really see it here. It's like, oh, what a shame. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but what? Oh, I like it how they, I like it how this character who looks more like Vulcan Soul. Is it me? Or is it more, looks more like Vulcan Soul out of um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Wow, did she learn her lesson? Wonderful. Do nursing love. Ah, oh, ain't it horrible doing nursing? You can't do much nursing because, you know. Sleep on them at night with my elbows because of my arthritis. Is your wife coming tonight? As far as I know. Oh. Oh, do you fancy a drink? Hmm. Fancy a drink? Okay. I'm sorry. But I thought nurses are not have to be involved with flipping patients. Talk about patients. Do you ever have an A in a deadline to go to the next patient or whatever? But it doesn't mean you have to go, all right, whatever, love, whatever, go to the next patient. Or whatever, go on to the next patient. Or whatever, go to the next patient. I know you're Vulcan Salt. I know you're supposed to be all naggy and like, I want it now, I want it now, daddy. But me, like, your dad's dead. Like, how old he was when, he, when, you, when you were young, mate. I mean, lass, I mean, whatever. Nurse, so what the hell? But like, I don't know, but what is going on here? At least I'm missing something here, but what? Yeah, so can we go, go back to this bit? Because I'm like, I'm I'm examining things. No no pun intended. I had to examine all this stuff in the video. Nothing, nothing to do with reacting to all oh, the videos that we are. Because that's the other quake. That's the other quake people, okay? The other quake are like, oh, look at these folks. Go, yeah. Not only I do half of that, but I'm also examining them. Because I'm really good at that, kind of. But I'm like, what the hell? Look, this is what, if I was her, or Brukasad, or whoever she is, I would say, oh, whatever. Okay, how about some pay ale? Or whatever it's called. And I'm like, oh, why don't we have some pay ale? Who talks like that? Are you some, are you some, are you some kind of person from... I don't know really, but I'm like, I'm gonna say something, but I don't want to offend anybody. But what the hell? Look, foot, foot lady, or, or hole in your knee, or whatever your name is, Brooke or something. Um, could you just understand, Nurse Brooke, Bro Nurse Salt? Listen, Nurse Salt, I'm not sure what you're on about, my love, but look, just say something, eh, or whatever it was called. They're like, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I'm oh, sorry, but what? Look, I don't think the male p patients need to know about your silly sense of humor sort of attitude or whatever it is, but <sighs> proceed. I'm afraid with no champagne, but I think we can offer you a pale ale. Can I tempt you? Yes. What about me blue sponge? I left it in the wash, please. I'll have a look while I'm on my travels, Miss Dreams. Oh, uh, feet bad. Oh, wanna swap them, Miss Dreams? I'll take yours any time. Mm. Ah, you're a grand lass. A grand lot of lasses, this lot. Are you staying like that? Look, I'm too warm. I've the bully Cheeky. Anyway, the prison state I'm in, and you just have to look at me and I'll fall over. Nurse. Nurse, please talk to I think Mr. Kosowski has perforated. or whatever, or you're nearly dying, or you've had some kind of injury all of a sudden, or something like that, you have something on your face. I'm not going to go to this hospital because this hospital's dodgy. Where's the machines? Where's the machines? Where's the... <laughs> no, there's no such a machine. There's such a thing as machines in the 70s. 
and you're telling me that you're not gonna have machines in an ordinary or not well it's not really ordinary because it's more like carry on doctoring sort of type what the hell is this some kind of weird i don't know what what I tell you what, I'm gonna just hard copy break. I I can't stand this sort of thing. It's just it's just no, I can't have I have to sit down and watch it. Do you, you did this on purpose, didn't you? Whoever made this or oh I did I made this. I made this series. Why am I keep on blaming myself for all this? Am I meant to am I meant to be or something? I'm not gonna go to that doctor's hospital and the CGV if I'm meant to be ill, I don't know. But but what the hell? What's in my precedent? What's in my precedent? What's in my precedent? Pudding, 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 pudding. Oh! Did you hear that? What, what, what's the medica- what's the sort of medicational issue with him? Or oh, whatever. You don't do your job like that, woman. Or nurse, or whatever your name is, or what, whatever you are. God. Look, I'm not also, as I said again, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a qualified person to be in the medication, whatever. But seriously, I wouldn't, I highly doubt that a nurse or doctor or whatever, matron or bleh, will say, what's, what's up with him? Or, oh, he's there. Okay. I have my help. You have to say it like, you have to know his birth, the medicational history, then you can do it like, oh yeah, why, yeah, whatever, next! Not like, oh, what's up with him, his medication history, oh, this is what happened, oh, this is what happened, oh, this is what happened, oh, that's what happened, that's what happened. But no, you're thick as a brick. You have to say to the other nurse, what's up with him? I get it with the fact that you don't really know him and you feel like, ah, whatever. But you have to say it like, oh, this is what happened, don't worry. I know that's what you already did, what now, what I just done, but you said it like you don't know him at all. This is disturbing, you know that, right? You'll be all right, Mr. Doyle. There's nothing to worry about. Could have been cleaned up in casualty. I don't know what's up with them these days. That show's really good. I watched like 10 episodes on BBC Alpha and it's really good. Some are really awful, but most of it's really good. Why are you judging all the old BBC programs? You're basically in a BBC program. Most BBC programs show the BBC stuff, but... What? You can't just talk about something serious about a television show about something to do with a hospital in a hospital at work because well, that's more like saying, oh, we don't know what we're really doing, what we're doing. This is scary, folks. Oh, no. Why did people create hospitals in the first place? To help people get better. Not people who are getting, you know, upset because, oh, this TV show's rubbish. <laughs> that means really, our job is rubbish. <laughs> I know that's not what she said, but it's kind of the same thing. You'll be all right, Mr. Doyle. There's nothing to worry about. Could have been cleaned up in casualty. I don't know what's up with them these days. There's no next of kin listed here. Have you a wife, Mr. Doyle? No family? You've nobody? No known next of kin. It's all right, love. It's all right. I'm just going to make you nice and clean and comfy. Nurse! Nurse! I want a bottle. Hey, Haggis, she said she's going to get one. They're very busy. Right. I'd better get the barber. Oh, God, he was in a state. Did you see those feet? Ugh. It's all right. He can't hear. Poor old bloke. Nurse! Nurse! All right, Mr. McDonald. It's on its way. I'm sorry, but... Okay. Hobie City. Casualty. Um... 
this might may hurt or whatever Q from uh, James Bond nurse character was on about in that show. They're all going to explain what the story's all about and what that little tiny moment is all about, especially with the ring bit. The Lord of the Rings! Seriously, it looks like more like the Lord or whatever his name is in Voyage of the Dawn Tread of the BBC version. I don't know, I don't know. But what the hell? But I'm sorry, but... When, you know what on those TV shows, they show little tiny moments of what's going to happen, what's not going to happen, and why that happens, and why they explain it, like some kind of weird instructional video, but more like, realistic way, like, oh, I'm sorry, I have to put that somewhere else, and they have it, I have a few argument about it, but they just say, but some, that's going off track, but you know, did they, but you know, they talk about something like, oh, I have to do this, Mr. Old Man, because, you know, blah, 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 blah. no, <laughs> It's all right, love. I'm just going to take your teeth out. They'll be all ready and waiting for you when you wake up. <laughs> no, you can't keep them in now. Come on. Oh, they're a bit stuck, aren't they? <laughs> that was just your pre-med the doctor gave you. Now you're sleep till it's all over. All right. Yes. Is he all right? He will be. Oh, you know, I'd sell my soul for a cup of tea and smoke. <laughs> oh, I bet you will. Well, <laughs> only five minutes now to visiting time. Will you get back into bed, Mr. Clark? Mr. Clark isn't in bed yet. Oh, she's up in the gun. She wants some bottom yeah. smacking in this one, yes. definitely. As I was saying before, can I have another pillow? Do you think you can get me another pillow, love? I'll try to during visiting. <laughs> All right, Mr. Doyle. That's smashing. Yeah. Be a new man in the morning. You won't know yourself. How she said, Can you get me a tea, love? And I says, Make your own tea. The kettle's over there. You can't just like think, Oh, what a shame. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's it, really. Bye.